a nice spring day and so it's a good opportunity to get outside and do some grilling. I bought some spices that are combo spices. We got the Weber uh, Gourmet Burgers. Um, it's used for hamburgers, but it's actually got um, some spices in there that are really excellent for any kind of beef. In addition to the Weber uh, pre-mixed uh, spices, I always add just a tiny bit of regular old salt, um, some black pepper, garlic powder, and uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but jaram musala. Garam musala. Garam musala. Jaram musala. However the heck you pronounce it, it tastes great on beef. Okay. So go ahead and spice these up. Jaram musala. bit of salt on top. Then I always pat this inside so that it doesn't fall off. And if you get a little clumped up you can just spread it around but the goal is to make it so that it's one with the fillet. Okay. And we'll flip it over and do the same thing. your hands between doing things in the kitchen. Because Last but not least, I always marinate the meat in some A1 steak sauce before grilling. So A1's great as a dip, but it's also good for marinating the meat. Uh, A1 has all kinds of good stuff, uh, particularly the vinegar in there. It's excellent for just making the meat taste so much better. All right. Pour that right on top of all the spices. Just kind of brush it along. Now we're going to flip these over and we'll marinate the other side as well. Okay, to complement the beef, we've got some very fresh asparagus, uh, locally grown, and we are going to season that real lightly. I like to throw on just a little bit of garlic powder. Let's add some nice flavor to it. Got some garlic on it, that's good enough. And then a little tiny bit of salt. Doesn't have to be much because asparagus is good just by itself, really, without much. And then we'll just throw this on the grill with the meat. Okay. The grill is just about ready. 
Normally I like to have it 300 or a little bit above for doing my steaks or anything with beef really because otherwise you just sit there slow cooking it for uh, a long long time so <clears throat> once you've reached your temperature you can start to go and close off your um, ventilation a little bit more I also threw on a little bit of apple wood on top of the charcoal briquettes which is really nice so it adds a nice little smoky flavor to the meat uh, with uh, that kind of sweetness that the apple wood gives Alrighty. and drop it just a little bit lower so it's not quite so cotton picking close to the meat. That way we also reduce the risk of burning the meat, which we don't want to do. There we go. A couple minutes here. It won't need to cook probably as long as the meat will. So we'll throw it on there. Let it get that nice smoky flavor. Okay, we flipped these after about six minutes. They look pretty darn good, don't they? Mm. These have been on the grill for a total of about eight minutes, eight to nine minutes, and they look really good. Basically, you want the middle of the steak to be about 135 to 140 degrees, to be about medium, medium, well, maybe on the on the side of medium rare, but medium mostly. Ha. Huh. Uh, that's about where I like my meat. And then over here we've got our grilled asparagus, which looks really good. Um, that was on there for um, probably about three, three or four minutes. As you can see, you got a couple that were a little, uh, little too close to the flame, but otherwise it's got that nice kind of little smoky flavor to it.